unfortunately, the incumbent sheriff's plan for the jail overcrowding problem is fatally flawed and it's myopic. It's the same strategy that was rejected by voters in the year 2000. The plan is fiscally irresponsible within the context of the county's existing budget. It's far too lavish and far too large in scope. But most importantly, its ongoing operating costs and proposed staffing levels are unrealistic. The Sheriff's Department can't fill its current vacancies, let alone recruit or pay for 84 more correctional staff to run this facility. Worst of all, there has been no and there is no Plan B. I believe we do need more jail space, but we're not going to get it by asking developers who would otherwise build shopping centers to build it or by getting programs as great as they would be for people who have mental health illness problems or drug problems. We need to do a number of different things. We need to try and prevent crime and curtail as much criminal activity as possible to stop these uh, people coming into the system on the front end. And an example of that is expanded drug treatment and more detox facilities, especially now to deal with our methamphetamine problem. We need to maximize alternative sanctions to incarceration. And I don't believe that we've done that. We need to explore contracting with existing and underutilized detention facilities both inside and outside Santa Barbara County. This is a tough problem, but the answer is developing a more cost-effective plan in partnership with others in the criminal justice system and then marketing that plan to the public collectively and convincing them that everything short of jail construction has already been done. And there is no free lunch. We have to convince the citizens that this is an important project that they are going to have to pay for. Okay. Our third question, and Mr. Arnaldi, you will answer this first. I'll give it to the audience. Voters have to make a decision about the county split in the June election. What does the county split study suggest about the sheriff's department? After reading the study, what is your position on the county split? And please explain your position in terms of the sheriff's department status. I'll start with the last question first. I've been totally opposed to the county split from day one. I think the whole thing was just, uh, I believe, although I believe in the dem democratic process, I just think all the ill will, all the time that's been spent, all the money that's been spent on this was ridiculous. That money could have been spent on, on buying a jail site, fixing our roads, helping social services, and other things instead of what, what has occurred. Plus a lot of the ill will that has happened between North and South, unfortunately. After reviewing the report, the transfer of responsibilities, basically the first year the two counties will remain the same as far as their level of service goes, as far as the Sheriff's Department providing that service. During that second year from July 1st, 2007 through the uh, next two years, excuse me, through June 30th, 2009, what the report has suggested that both Mission County and the remaining Santa Barbara County work in cooperation to accomplish an orderly and timely transition of services and the functions for the uh, Sheriff's Department. But what will happen is Santa Barbara County shall be reimbursed for such services. So that first year is a freebie, but the next two uh, it be a reimbursement of the services back to Santa Barbara County. Part of the report also said immediately after Mission County's formation, the new county will have only a core group of employees, that being the five member board of supervisors and four elected officials which is the sheriff, the district attorney, the auditor, and the assessor. Since we only have a couple of time left here. One other thing they mentioned, since Mission County would not have a jail, they would purchase jail services from the south. Therefore, we record jail contract expenses in Mission and recorded revenue from approximately $11.5 million in the south for contract jail services. We're out of time. Good time. Thank you. I won't need two minutes for this. No. <laughs> I think the study was important. Uh, I know it costs money, but had that study not been done and completed, then there would still be talking in terms of a motion of whether there ought to be a North County and a South County, a Mission County, and a Santa Barbara County. But once the study was completed, it convinced me that one thing was going to happen in the North. There was going to be less money, period. 
because the services are in the north, the finances are in the south. And if there's less money to deal with, you have two options. You lose taxes or you reduce services. Neither one of them is acceptable to me, and I oppose it. The study determined that based on projected revenues, the proposed Mission County would not be economically viable at current levels of service that we enjoy. And it said that without a significant increase in taxes, there would be significant reductions in services that were funded by general discretionary revenues, including the Sheriff's Department. The county would start life with a very severe deficit, and there would be many, many logistical challenges to starting up a new county. Certainly there would be tremendous infrastructure challenges, the most important and obvious of which is no jail, and there's also no mental health facility in the north. So these two facilities alone would be very cost prohibitive to build for a small county like Mission County. Now based on my experience in Sacramento this past year and several years before that, uh, as the president and on the executive board of the California Police Chiefs Association, I had a chance to talk to a number of people up there and to learn about the process. And I can tell you that in this day and age, it makes no sense to take a larger county and split it into two smaller counties. You end up with a loss of economy of scale, a loss of influence, and most importantly, a loss of funding collectively, both at the state and the federal levels. And I think lastly, we need to recognize that our county's diversity is a strength. The South has the university, they have a more cosmopolitan atmosphere, a lot of nice amenities. The North has wine, lots of natural beauty, and of course, the world's best barbecue. So we may be quirky as a county, but together we have a lot of strength. And I think that this is an obvious choice. There should be no county split. And I think that it's a shame that the incumbent sheriff at last week's forum said that he didn't take a position on this. Because as a leader, leaders should be speaking out against something that it would be so detrimental to the members of our county. Well, at, at the last forum, I, I, I did say that I haven't taken a public position on the county split. Uh, that's very true. Uh, but I think it's important for you as voters within Santa Barbara County to make up your own minds based on the information that have been presented to you as a, as a part of the uh, commission study that took place over a year. Uh, as a taxpaying citizen in Santa Barbara County, I would not vote to split the county because I think it's too cost prohibitive. Um, uh, I just think that it would be a detriment to the North County to see it split because of the costs involved and associated with that process taking place, especially at today's dollars. And in terms of the Sheriff's Department, it does mean inferior service for the residents that live in North County if in fact the split occurs. Uh, we would have to reduce service levels and or raise taxes to maintain those service levels if in fact the county were to split and I don't believe that the voters in our county want to see their taxes go up any more than they're already paying. So, so as the sheriff, I do not support the county split. Um, uh, it doesn't make sense. It's, um, it, it would hurt the service level that's currently provided to our residents, and service in the sheriff's department is very important. That's why we're in the business that we're in, is to provide adequate service to the residents of Santa Barbara County. And if you start a county with a $30 million deficit annually, you're definitely going to have to cut the service levels. So as a taxpaying citizen, I would not support the county split. Um, but it's important for you as voters to understand those positions and what the commission study has shown and make up your own mind. Uh, because there are a lot of philo philosophical differences between the north and the south, what the priorities should be, where the money is spent, and one of those things that, that really hasn't been prioritized as a high priority is the need for a jail. Mr. Thomas, we'll start with you on this one. Some citizens might say that the reputation of the county sheriff's department has suffered because of what are perceived as problematic collaboration.